An unused detector tube must be used. Insert the detector tube in the tip breaker. Turning it around lightly for four to five times makes an incision in the tip. Now, simply bend the tube towards you to break off the tip. Repeat the procedure for the other end. Insert the detector tube in the pump so that the arrow of the G mark points towards the pump. Align the handle with the guide mark for the sampling amount as indicated in the instructions. 50 or 100 milliliters. Make sure that the handle is pushed in. Point the exposed tube end towards the point to be measured. Then fully pull back the handle in one motion. The stopper of the handle will lock with a click. Hold the tube still until sampling is complete. The completion of sampling can be confirmed by checking the finish indicator. Moreover, the handle cannot be moved. Be sure that the inlet clamping nut is firmly tightened. Insert an unused detector tube into the rubber inlet flange of the pump. Push in the handle and align the red line with the 100 milliliter marking. Pull the handle back to the full 100 milliliter position, locking it in place. Wait one minute. Rotate the handle one quarter turn and set it back supported with your hand. Be sure to guide it back gradually by applying a little resistance. Otherwise the handle will spring back due to the vacuum in the cylinder and possibly damage the pump or cause injury. The airtight condition of the gas sampling cylinder is ensured when it returns to the position where the red line cannot be seen.